What's good guys and welcome back to my trading journal. Today I have a very interesting trade that I want to share with you. Uh, we are looking at the Aussie Yen on the 60 minute chart. So let's have a look at the charts. This is the Aussie Yen and um, as you can see we have identified a bad formation. As you can see from here I'm bad man. Uh, we actually identified this um, this pattern on our private trading group. So uh, we have our X to A leg right here, our A to B. Our B to C and our CD completion coming right at that 886 retracement, uh, this red line right here, and this is a this was a very this was a very good trade. I can show you guys why if I zoom it in, you can see that this was more or less a perfect bad pattern. We actually we actually caught the top of this move. Uh, we had an uptrend right here, uh, and the bad formation completed at this D completion. And as you can see, uh, we had a green candle stop before our order. We had a sell limit at that 886. <coughs> And the next candle spiked up a bit before, uh, therefore filling us, filling our order, before making its way down. And this was perfect because catching tops and bottoms, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, it really feels good for me, guys. And this trade, this was the perfect example of uh, the perfect pattern catching the perfect top. So as you can see, we caught the top and price made its way down. And this was an interesting candle right here because this was uh, a news release. I think it was a. Uh, the New Zealand interest rate decision. They decided to keep their interest rates, uh, therefore causing some bearish momentum in the Aussie dollar. Um, and as you can see, price basically just slowly made its way down. However, I noticed that in this area that we had some form of uh, support. So when price broke past this support with this big uh, bearish candle, I actually set my stop loss down here for about 33 pips, I think. It was about 33 pips. Yep, about 33.5 pips about there. So, um, because, uh, you know, this was a decent area. If price were to push up, possibly it could reject the area before making its way down. However, as you can see, price consolidated for a bit before spiking up into, let me just show it to you. This candle right here spiked up into my stop loss and stopped me out for uh, about 33.5 pips. And as you can see, after I got stopped out, price continued its way up before making its way down again and hitting... Uh, the 618 retracement which is conventional set, conventional targets for a bad formation so in hindsight this would have been a really good trade but uh, unfortunately i got stopped out for about 33.5 pips but you know what that's um i, I would take 33.5 pips or even 34 or 33 pips any day over a one pip loss or even a five pip loss or even a 0 0.5 pip loss so this was a very good trade that i uh, that we took in our private trading group catching the top brilliant feeling so one more thing I want to show you guys before I end this video. Looking at this chart, uh, after the pattern formed, we also have one more pattern which formed. And if I were to show you the chart again, this is the same chart as the previous one. Uh, it's just uh, I drew out the pattern for you. This was a godly pattern that formed. We have our X to A, A to B, B to C, and our CD completion coming right around here. As you can see, it's a very nice pattern again. Two back-to-back -back patterns on the Aussie and starting to be my favorite pair. Price came down into that, um, into that uh, D completion. Price pushed down uh, quite a bit, quite a bit into that uh, decompletion, uh, that 786 retracement. Uh, but you know the bu the bulls came in and uh, just pushed price back up. So this would have been a really good trade. Unfortunately, I didn't take it because I just had a gut feeling that it didn't work out. In hindsight, I should have taken it. I would have been um. I would have been about 27 pips, 25 pips up right now. But you know what? Doesn't matter. I got a winning trade on the previous pattern, and that's. And that's uh, all that matters. You're only as good as your next trade, and uh, I'll be looking for more opportunities to share with you guys in the coming days. So thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.